This one says, um, because it has a non-polluting combustion product, which is water vapor, hydrogen gas is used for fuel above the space shuttles and in earthbound cars with prototype engines um, in the reaction that's shown up here. Okay? So let's express the rate in terms of changes of hydrogen gas concentration, oxygen gas concentration, and water gas concentration over time. Okay? So how do we do that? Remember, the rate is, so in this case, with hydrogen, can you guys help me out? What is it gonna be? Negative, one, one half. half, very good, times what? H. The con change of the concentration of H2 Over divided by shift time. Yep. delta T. Everybody okay with doing something like that? So what would be, what's the next one it wants us to do? Oxygen? So what would oxygen be? Somebody else help me. Change of concentration of O2 okay. over the change of time, negative. Times, yeah, a negative one, right? Like that. Is everybody okay with that? So notice what I'm doing here. This is equivalent to that. So we can actually set these two equal to each other if we wanted to, too. And that's what we're going to do in part B of this problem. Okay, so let's do water vapor. What is it going to be? So it's going to be also equal to what? One half, yes. And the change in uh, water vapor. Mm -hmm. Over change in time. There we go. Okay. And then it says when um, oxygen is <coughs> decreasing at uh, 0.23 moles per liter second. Okay. So the concentration of oxygen is decreasing at 0 0.0, oh, I'm sorry, 0 0.23 moles per liter second. How fast is water increasing? Okay. So how do we do this problem? Well, let's just I'm going to erase this part here because we have an equation here. So this, this, okay? So we're looking for, so delta T is going to be the same, right? So we can cancel that out on each side. Do you guys see that? Delta T is equivalent to delta T. So effectively, what do we got? We got negative change of O2 equals one half times the change of H2O. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, what do we know about the change in O2 con concentration? It's going to be negative 0.23 moles per liter second, right? So, what would be the change in water concentration? So, <laughs> negative 2 times, oops, times the change in O2 concentration. Is everybody okay with us doing that? Just rearranging the thing. So when we do that, negative 2 times a negative 0 0.23 moles per liter second. Would you expect the uh, water concentration to be increasing when the oxygen was decreasing? Yes. So, is this going to be the correct answer that's positive? Yes. It's going to be 0 0.46 moles per liter second. Is everybody okay with doing something like that? Any questions on that? Wonderful. Good job, guys.